area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. It's been a week since I've set a blog, it ain't making sense. I watched all of y'all blogs and all of y'all statements. I waited just the right time to explain this. Y'all are bugging about these battles of night, of main events. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Showtime, SP to nobody that knows bodies. It was offset. Let me, let me just go ahead and just jump right on into this. I was watching. I was chilling. I was patiently waiting. I wanted all of these blogs to drop. I was hearing the rumors. I was hearing the back and forth on who was going to do what with who. With you know what and you know where. We're going to keep that between me and you. But I got to say this. Hmm? I'm hearing a lot of talk about not liking these battles on these cards. Not liking the matchups on this card. What was y'all expecting? Hmm? Was y'all expecting a, a, a big top tier name? Hmm? Was y'all expecting somebody of the legend or the god tier status? Hmm? Was y'all expecting some type of return? Huh? That's what you expected, huh? You know what we get when we get those type of battles? Not all three good rounds. Y'all want that? Y'all want that? Hmm? Y'all want a letdown main event? Hmm? Y'all want wasted time? Wasted build up? Y'all want the face off to be better than a damn battle? Is that what you want? Nay, I say. Nay, I say, and shame on you. You deserve the L if that's what you wanted. Because that's what we be getting. So let me run down these battles. This because because I'm I don't see a battle on this card. I don't see a battle on this card that that literally there's a oh oh if this person if the, wait there is one there is one we gonna have to get into that though. Let's just let's just let's just get it out the way. All right, it's a lot of damn battles on this card. I was hoping when the, when all of these battles drop. And it said 3 o'clock. I was like, we not getting out of here until uh, Sunday morning. Clearly 6.30 a.m. I done have to quit my job. I got I just been, man, I, done, I just got, I live here. You don't. I don't understand that, man. Like, why, why are we out here? You going to tell me we're going to do this for two days? Two days? Like that's never been done before. Let me stop playing. Y'all talking about y'all not going to watch these, this known battle. You not watching. No, you crazy. You are crazy. It's two days. Of, of URL, you're not getting Battle Fest after. You ain't getting Battle Fest after this. After Gnome, the next night is Gnome Part Two. Let's 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 just go ahead. Let's just run this down. Should I go from the bottom to the top or the top to the bottom? I'm just going to just throw random battles out there. Okay, first 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 gripe. First gripe. Let's just go ahead and get this out the way. Okay, T Rex versus Easy to Block Captain. That's the only battle that I gotta think to myself. Hmm. Are we going to get a, a full three round Rex? Are we going to get a, a, a potent Rex? Are we going to get that Averb Rex? Are we going to get that, that Party Artie Rex? Are we going to get that Uncasa Rex? Why do I got to go back that goddamn far for that Rex? What y'all want, Charlie Clips Rex? Hmm? What y'all want? What, what, what you want to do after that? You want the caution tank, Rex? You want the two niggity Rex? Stop playing. I maybe 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 I might be a little biased. I might be I might be a little biased. It's cool though. It's cool though. I might be a little biased. But let me tell you something. I'm gonna go ahead to go with easy to block, block captain. You feel me? I'm gonna go with easy to block captain. This battle has the potential to be smoke. Like it could just be smoke. But easy, it's up to you to make it fire. Let me tell you something, Charlie uh, uh, Rex. Has died multiple times. Charlie Clips killed that man. On. Was it no? Or was it Summer Madness? I think it was Summer Madness. But either way it was around the same season. That's where he died. He got resurrected and then put back in the. Easy you just beat. You, you killing a zombie at this point. But I need you to do. What they be doing in the walking dead. I need all headshots. To talk different right. He the one that say he talk different. 
What you gonna do when he in your face like this, hmm? What you gonna do and not blink? You know what you gonna do? Bullshit. 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 Stop playing with me, man. I'm going with easy. I'm going with easy on that one. That's, that's easy. That's the only easy. That's the only easy one. Let's get into these other battles, though. What y'all, what y'all, what y'all complaining about? Hmm? Tay Rock versus Chilla Jones? You really think for a second? You really think for a second we gonna get the same rock we been getting these past couple battles? You think we gonna get the same rock? You really think that? You think we gonna get that rock versus Hustle? I'm sorry, versus Official? Hmm? You think we gonna get that bot? No. Stop playing. But ever since Chilla Jones has been back on URL, he has done nothing. Done nothing but make niggas give them the best material. Do I have to run it down for you? Do I have to run down Ch Chilla Jones versus Nitty? Do I have to run down Chilla Jones versus New Jersey Twerk? Do I have to run down Chilla Jones versus Real Sick? Those battles all are top 10 of a uh, battle of the year. Can it? Stop playing with me, man. Stop playing with Chilla. Do we have to mention them? Listen, Chilla Jones battled K-Shine and debatably won it, Won that battle, okay? He won the battle and he won the war. I'm not going back. I promise y'all I'm not going back. It, so what we complaining about? What we complaining about? Hmm? This one, this one, I really feel like it can go either way. But if we're going by the snowball effect, Chilla Jones ain't clearly lost yet since he's been back. He ain't clearly lost. Like, I'm talking about clearly, clearly lost. I got to go with the, I got to go. And right now, Rock ain't been winning. So, <laughs> Rock, your back's against the wall. We need that second round Rock. We need that second round Rock. I'm going to go with Chilla on this one. I think I'm going to have to go with Chilla on this one. This battle has the potential to be fire, though. This battle has the potential to be fire, but I'll be fine if it's just smoke. I don't care. I want all these battles to be smoke. I don't care about rolling none of this. I don't care about none of that. Easy, I need you to make this battle smokable. That's it. That's all. I just wanted to make it smokable. But this one, I need this one to have the potential to be fire. You know what's the crazier part about this? Is that this is not even the main event. Hmm? And from the, what it looks like, the main event, the main event, the main event is apparently the finals. It's the it's the Ultimate Madness 3 finals. This is brother versus brother. This is West versus West. This is EFB versus EFB. The last time we had teammates go up against each other, the battle was okay. It wasn't crazy. Sorry, Holmesy. Sorry, Bill. But that finals wasn't that crazy. It was at the bottom of the card. Jada Nightwing versus Fonz was good. It wasn't that crazy. This battle is going to be crazy. You know why? Because they had the test run. They was out there. They was out there in the dirty water with the with the at the boat yard. You remember when John Wick was like he was he had in the beginning of the first one where he had smashed into the wall over there by the boat dock and then at the end of the movie where he shot the boy at the boat dock. If you pan the camera over, you see that Geechee Gotti and Rum Nitty was out there battling. Plus it really did it, it, it was at the UK. It was like the before the battle battle. So like at that time that battle it count but it don't really count. You know what I'm saying? Like I just I, I don't feel that way. This one this one counts. This one is for the face of the URL. This one was supposed to be what it was supposed to be in the Genesis. So I guess this one is Revelation. I'm going to leave that one by itself. I don't care who wins that battle. 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 I, did I say that six times? I don't care who wins that battle. I just wanted to say it six times because, you know, they got to say it six times. But we just going to go ahead and keep it rolling. That battle could go either way. That already has the potential to be fire on the card. Sounds nice. And it's the final battle. Oh, my God. Just, just, just take my money. Take my money. You know what else you could take? You know what else you can take? Hmm? 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 A couple stabby stabs. That's what you gonna get. You gonna get the stabby stab. Y'all gonna make me maddy mad. If this battle is trashy trash, I'm gonna be saddy sad. I know those bars were terrible. But let me tell you something. It's all about the performance. And that's because it's on the big stage, right? They say it's for the big stages. Oh, they ain't never rocked the big stage before. These new cats can't rock the big stage. Mike P versus Lou Castro has the potential to be a stage rocker. Both of them niggas is gonna yell at each other. You already know it. You know it. 
And you already know that Mike P is really good at the impressions too, so I want to see some of that. Lou Castro going to be, yeah, don't be yelling at me, and I'm going to do it just because you white and your last name police. I don't like none of that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but he going to, uh, uh, Lou, 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 Lou. And you got the, you know what I mean? You got the, you got the, you know what I mean? We, I don't know. Did I do? Did I, I don't think I did it right. But I'm, I'm gonna keep trying. I was doing it in the mirror by myself, and then I just went. Never mind. But it's cool though. The war, the war, the the war between Mike P and Lou Castro is going to be fire. This has the potential to be fire as well. Mike P is unpredictable. Lou Castro, you know what he might say, but the way he said it is going to be different. Both of them can get lyrical. Who am I going to say could win this battle? Mike P has the potential to win the battle because he's a little bit more witty. But if this is supposed to be on a big stage, I don't think, I think that Luke Castro might be able to edge this. Mm, this battle can go either way too. All right, we're going to have to revisit that one. I think I'm going to have to go ahead and back on this one. JC versus Fonz. Got the little nigga versus a big nigga. Big, listen, listen. If I have to remind you of the times that I thought that JC would lose a battle and he smokes niggas. And I be trying to like count JC out because, you know, he be having his own issues with, you know, how he be reacting to stuff. And then, you know what I'm saying? And they, they, they say he's sick or something like that. I just think my son, he just need to sit down somewhere. Like he need to relax. But I think he had a little bit enough time to relax. You know what I'm saying? I'm just... Just a little bit here. I ain't seen him battling lately. I haven't heard anything about him battling. Whereas Fonz is trying to put Cleveland on the map. Fonz ain't about to let JC cook him. It's not going to let that go. He's not going to let that go down that way. I really feel that way. And I'm going to have to say that JC can get away with this battle 2-1. I, I, don't, Fonz, please, please, don't hit me. Don't, don't, don't fight me. Don't get mad at me. Fonz, you got all the potential to murder JC. But the thing is, there's so many JC flips out there that's been used. There's been so many dance flips that's been used. There's been so many Julian Carters, Carter, Julian flips. How many flips are left for you to do? You get what I'm saying? How many How many more of those flips can Fonz do? Whereas JC can just still hold the thing of, while you was over there doing this, I was cooking niggas. And I'm known to be booked to be cooking niggas. It's a line hook for these niggas. It's, you know, he going to put some intricate. Maybe I'm fishing for a bar. Maybe I'm not. But y'all will catch that later on the footage. This is the footage. It don't matter. JC versus Fonz, that also has the potential to be it has the potential to be fire. All, all these battles have the potential to be fire. But I can smoke this one. I think I'm going to roll this one. If this, if this one is the one that's not as crazy, 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 it would be that one. But then Fonz can blow niggas out. I, I don't know, man. I, 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 I don't be knowing no more. I don't be knowing because this these battles are evenly matched. This is a night of main events. This is a night of main events. These are battles that I think that are gonna go all three rounds. We're gonna be like, damn, this is good. I wanna be I wanna be tired after this. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna be disappointed. I wanna be tired. I wanna be like, God damn, my head hurt, my voice is hoarse, and I've been sitting down watching this all day. I want my eyes to hurt because I've been staring at the computer screen all day. I need that type of vibe. And these battles have that potential. Okay? Are you serious? Are you serious? What y'all want? A grudge match? Y'all want a grudge match? Fine. T-Top versus Swamp. The battle that we've been waiting for, the battle that we've been trying to see, and then it was supposed to happen, and then it didn't happen. They had booked it, and then they had didn't book it, and then they had overlooked it. And so now it's well done steak. They overcooked it. This battle has to live up the, to the potential that it was supposed to. But T-Top was on decline. And Swamp is on an incline. Like it's so I believe that right now is a good time for them to meet up and get this Carolina shit out the way. Get all of this. Who is the king of Carolina? You feel me? I gotta go with Swamp on this one. Okay? I gotta go with Swamp on this one because of the showing that he had with Geechee Gotti and because of what he did all uh, in the tournament as well as his other battles with you know what I'm saying, other uh, I just like the way the Swamp does it. His pace just needs to be just a little bit faster. But I feel like with T-Top, that pace is going to be right along with him. Now, Swamp, how, here's the problem. Swamp don't lose against niggas. That's what he said. He, he said he don't be losing against niggas. The only battle that you, you can put him under controversy is him versus KCJ. And that's fine. That's all good and fine and dandy. 
But you still got to look at the fact that Swamp did lose to Geechee. Geechee outshined him. But Geechee is Geechee, and that's what he going to do. Now he needs to talk Geechee to the nigga T, to the nigga T-Top. T-Top, your angles got to be angling. Like, you you, you got to talk some shit that maybe maybe Swamp, only only Swamp know about that and make him throw him off his square. But I think I am going to go with Swamp with this one. This one's going to be 2-1. This one is going to be... This, it could go either way, but I do believe I'm going to have to go with Swamp on this one. Loso versus Jerry West. Mmm. Mmm. Two of my favorite underdogs that outshine. I don't watch Chess versus Loso three, four, five, five, six times. I let Vada do the, 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 uh, the, the breakdown, and he did an excellent job. Don't worry. Don't worry. When the next time it come around, I got y'all. But I got to I got to work some shit out with this with this battle here. Loso Loso might have beat Chess. Loso also got outshined by Chess. And these are the intangibles that Jerry West had versus Chess and Chess beat Jerry West convincingly. And 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 Jerry West was still a one in that battle, so it's like, what 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 Loso gonna have to do is he gonna have to kill Jerry West, and that's kind of impossible. I mean, Jerry West got thirty by Arsenal, I believe, but Jerry West also thirty Danny Myers. I'm just I, Jerry West can 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 go against these niggas. By the way, EFB is all over this card. I just want to let y'all notice that they're just all over this card. I see a lot of EFB. I don't see a lot of the other clicks. You feel me? I just I see a couple people. But New Era, if New Era counts as a click, then, then the whole card is booked. But uh, anyway, besides the point, I think in this one, this battle can go either way. I don't want to give that one a definitive, definitive choice just yet. But if we're going by... Positive and negatives. Loso is on the incline. Jerry West is kind of on the decline. Both of them going to have to have a good battle. This battle has the potential to be fire as well. Like, come on. I, I, ain't, I ain't seen a shitty battle yet. I ain't seen a shitty battle yet. It's time to get woke or I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I think the one I think the one battle that a lot of people might be talking about, it seems like a style clash or a mismatch. And it's going to be B-Dot versus DNA. Because we don't know what DNA we're going to get. And that is the scariest part of that battle. That that battle is is, is going to be hard to, to, to pick through. And I honestly feel like... I honestly feel like... B-Dot has a lot more to gain beating DNA than DNA has to gain beating B-Dot. Because if DNA is on this Lux chase, I guess DNA would have to completely obliterate B Dot. I don't think that's possible. I just don't, I do think that DNA has the potential to win this battle because DNA does win battles. We're not gonna say DNA smoked niggas. I mean, he smoked a few. He smoked. He's thirty to couple people. That's not. Like people who were supposed to be star studded, you know what I'm saying? And 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 DNA got those under the belt. But if DNA is supposed to get this hollow battle, or if DNA is supposed to get Lux, he gonna have to work against a B dot. And B dot is the lyrical miracle of the new era. And I don't like calling him that. And he hates it when you call him. That. I don't know if he hates it if you call him that, but you get what I'm saying. It's just the 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 we've pigeonholed B dot into the woke. Self righteous pan African <coughs> no COVID pan African <coughs> battle rapper, but you got to look at the fact that DNA also ain't doing gun bars. So, are we expecting gun bars from both of them? Is DNA gonna have to get back into his gun bar bag to talk to B dot pan African? I, I, you can't, you can't really pick or choose. Who going to win that battle? I just know that that battle also has the potential to be fire. Like, let's stop. I'm getting sick of y'all. Because cause, cause y'all keep saying this big stage. It don't matter. Like, all of these cats have been on big stages. And they have all have repped the crowd. Like, they all, all rock crowds. Like, let's not, let's not act like 
big stages is going to make a difference to these guys, okay? If anything, just being in these smaller rooms have only just honed their craft to want to be out on the big stage, to want to build the craft to come out there. And that's what DNA is used to. And that's what B-Dot has to get used to. B-Dot has been on the big stage before because we remember he was on the West Coast. But is that a cheat? Maybe, maybe not, but still, he was on a big crowd and the crowd went crazy for him. So, B Dot definitely has uh, big, big stages. Uh, do you not remember B Dot battled A Bird? I'm just saying, these are the things that change boys to men. Shout out to New Edition. I'm saying the new era is making this shit spooky. I think I'm going to go with B Dot 2 1. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go with be that 2 one Now, speaking of coughing, I think that I may be sick or I might be real sick. No, y'all didn't like that? That's cool. Fuck it. I'm going to keep on rolling with it. Real sick versus Danny Myers. Also potential fire. Potential fire. We looking at the bark. Danny ain't sat down, bro. Danny not about to sit down for nobody. Put whoever in front of me. Danny and JC and Rum Nitty all literally just sit at the same bar and wait for the same phone call. The pay phone is just over there. They just wait for it to ring, let me speak to so-and-so, and they just answer the contract and they just go. Now, Danny, Daniel, against the new era, you've been doing a little shaky. Now, I don't want to say you've been losing because you kind of up and down. You definitely beat Kid Chaos. Okay, we can we can say that. Danny, you did not beat easy the block captain. I'm just, I, you did not. I'm, you did. It was really good. You can debate it, but you did not beat easy the block captain. Somebody give me somebody else that Danny has went up against in the new era. No, Jay, no, 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 and then into the punchline. Ugh. I think I'm going to have to go with Danny on this one. Because of the fact that Danny has that bigger, he has the better structure. Uh, Real Sick has been on a big stage before because he, there was a league before. You, well, he was on a league before URL. So he, and he went through a whole tournament. So he had to do something to get there. I'm just saying, like, I, I've, done, I've done my homework as well. All I'm saying is that Danny is a little bit more polished. Not to mention that crowd reaction. To, like, come on, that's how he feeds that energy, man. Real sick gonna have to do something, man. He gonna have to, oh, he gonna have to kill him. He gonna have to kill Danny, but Danny can't die. Danny's immortal. Danny is a vampire. Danny is, is, he's one of the hardest working men in the battle rap world. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. It's, it's very hard. It's very hard. It's very hard. Ha, I think I got them all. I think I got them all. Except for one of my personal favorite battles that I think is going to be fire. This is a style clash, too. I'm going to say Av vs. Jada Nightwing is going to be probably, probably the potential battle of the night. Don't, 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 don't of, of one of the nights. It's two nights. It's two nights. Don't kill me. You know what I'm saying? I think, I really think. Av vs. Jaden Nightwing is going to be crazy. You know why? Because anything that Av can punch about, Jaden Nightwing can do just about the same, and that energy just won't be there. Like, like it, his, the, his, a Jaden Nightwing has to have the crowd to be completely silent in order for him to do what he needs, in order for that, that shit to hit. Now, Jaden Nightwing's last performance versus New Jersey Twerk, after further review, it was phenomenal. I'm just saying the way you was writing, we ain't got to worry about the bars. You get what I'm saying? As far as performance-wise, of course he's going to have to work on that because of the fact he's not a big performer, but he is a he has a style of performance. It, the way he raises his voice. Listen, listen, Maui. Maui, all right? He reminds me of Maui, right? You know what I'm saying? He is the demigod. He, he got to return the stone to... You know how the movie went and shit. So, yeah, Shane and Nightwing and movie stones and, and how he talked and shit. Whatever. 
All I'm saying is that Jada Nightwing versus Av has the potential to be a fire battle because Av is going to try to punch Jada Nightwing's head off. And Jada Nightwing has just a way to be like, shut up. It's a, it's a, it's it's a crowd thing. It's a crowd thing. I, maybe maybe if there wasn't a crowd, I, maybe it would go a different way. I don't know. But it ain't like Jada Nightwing ain't been on a big stage before either. I'm just Av has made motherfuckers' heads blow off repeatedly. Do you remember a little battle called with Rum Nitty? You know, it was on a board legacy. But that room, everybody passed out. Everybody. Do you remember? When he was in that, that room, and I think he killed Glue. He really murdered Glue. Like, he murdered, murdered him. And they, they, they had to call the police on me. Let me go. You, you don't remember that? I'm just saying, Ab is known to smoke niggas on big stages. Ab is known to do that. The only time that Ab has only been like, Mer is in these small rooms and in these small stages. But this, this battle was still good, too. Ain't nobody going to move. Nobody can fight. Like, they both going to fight. Man, listen. Listen. Ugh. I think I'm gonna go with Av. I think I'm gonna go with Av two one. Just so I could put the battery in Jada Nightwing's back, because when two large stars collide, it creates a cataclysm, and in that cataclysm is the word cataclysm. That's a cat and some collisms. You know what I'm saying? But you need. To 